In this video, you'll learn how to set up an NFL dynamic expected value betting model, and you'll learn how to use two free calculators. Link in the description. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now. Here's what we have on the agenda today. We're going to define what an EV bet is. We're going to get our data for our model. We're going to walk through money line bets, spread bets, over-unders. We're going to do line shopping. We'll walk through some betting examples, and we'll wrap it up. Okay, so big question is, what is an EV bet? Well, an EV bet is whenever the implied one percentage is greater than the sportsbook one percentage. That's an EV bet. So here's an example. Let's say Ravens versus Chief. This is opening night for NFL. Let's say the Ravens are at plus 130 money line, which equals 43.48%. This is the implied percent of this American odds plus 130, and FanDuel is offering that. We calculate based on our methodology that we'll walk through that the break even odds are plus 128, which means that 43.95% is the actual implied win probability. So, this is what we think is the, the true win probability. FanDuel's given us a win percentage that's less than that. So, we're going to get paid out more by betting on this. And so, that's an EV bet. So, 43.95 is greater than 43.48%. An EV bet, or you can look at it. Plus 128 is less than plus 130, so therefore it is an EV bet. So anytime that your sportsbook odds are longer, so it's a longer shot of happening than the break-even odds, that's an EV bet. So there's two ways to look at this from a percentage perspective or from American odds perspective. But this is the crux of EV betting. You place enough of these bets in the long run, you're going to be a prof profitable sports better. So how are we going to get this? Well, we're going to use sharpest sportsbook in the world, Pinnacle, to get our odds. And sharp sportsbook just means that there's less VIG in the lines. Whenever you remove that VIG, you're going to get a better implied win percentage, a more accurate implied win percentage. So that's why we use Pinnacle. And I'll show you how to copy and paste those odds into Excel. From there, we're going to have money line bets. We're going to have this a simple drop down of selecting the matchups. We can filter on market width to be able to filter out some unlikely outcomes. We'll do line shopping break on based on break even odds, and then we can apply the Kelly criteria for the optimal bet amount. We'll walk through all this in more detail, but just wanted to highlight this is the, the path we're going to take. Spread bets, we're going to look at half point values and they're going to be dynamic that are going to go across multiple spread values so we have more betting opportunities and i'm i have another video out i'll have a link in the description to a free calculator i'll walk through how to use it to be able to calculate these half point spreads values very useful same story for over under or total bets then we're going to use Sportsbook Review for our line shopping. This is a free resource that cleanly outlines all the different matchups, money line, point spread, and total. And we can see the, the top sports books in each one of your states that you bet in, what the current odds are. And you can go to that at any time, refresh it, and it's completely free. All right, let's head over to Excel and let's find some bets. All right, I'm at the Excel model here. So if you watched any of my videos in the past, especially my NFL betting model last year, a lot of manual inputs. And since then, I've reworked a lot of the, the betting models for basketball, hockey, and baseball to be dynamic. Well, we've come full circle and we're back to NFL, and this is a dynamic betting model. So what we're going to do is our starting point is we are going to look, bring over pinnacle.com. We're going to just do a copy paste here. We're going to paste that into this inputs tab, or the drop in tab, sorry, control V. And then if you do this on your own, make sure you make this text formatting. And then when you copy it in, just match destination formatting. You want that text, otherwise it's going to calculate this plus 3.0 minus 114. It's going to do the math on that. You want to keep those delineated. So make sure you make this text if you do this yourself. Okay, so we drop that in, and then from here, we can just clear this out. This is all you have to do. Just start typing in your, your matchups for opening night. We have Baltimore versus the Chiefs, and it's going to bring in the odds, and that's it. You just do this, 
gives us several different opportunities to look at. You can, one minute and you can have the entire lineup of games copied in here. So let's just pull in a couple here. And it's automatically brought in our money line. This is the formula I'm using. So if you want to set this up yourself, grab that formula. And then we're going to be able to convert those American odds to win percentage. There's the formula that you would do to do that. It's going to be a VIG percent. So you can see 102.4%. So this has 2.4% of VIG. We'll remove that. Just doing a pro rata here to get our implied 1%. This is 100% total. This is this is fair odds. We'll convert those back to American odds just to make it easier to, to line shop. So plus 139, minus 139. And then we got a market with here. And I've got a market with calculator. And that's just the different, absolute difference between three plus 349 and minus 4. 22 for your instance. So Bengals are a big favorite versus the Patriots. And so I won't place a bet, even though I might see line, uh, odds that are longer than plus 363. Too, too big of an underdog. So I like to avoid anything greater than 50. So that's the money line. Let's go see if we can find some positive EV bets. So here's the Sportsbook Review site. We got spread. Money line and totals all available here. So it's going to highlight in blue, actually, the, the longest odds, too. So Baltimore plus 138 on FanDuel. Go back to our model. We're at plus 139, so we're going to pass on that. Green Bay plus 114 or minus 121 on the Eagles. Okay, so still nothing there. We'll go back See what we have, Tennessee versus Chicago, plus 180 and minus 198. No, and then we can go to the Cardinals, see if there's anything there, plus 245, plus 350 for the Patriots. Yeah, there's no EV bets showing up, unfortunately, but let's just do an example. Let's say, let's say we had the Green Bay Packers, DraftKings, let's say they were offering... Now, let's see here, 128. Let's just do that. So our break even was plus plus 125. Anything longer than that's a positive EV bet. So plus 128 is longer odds. And then we'll use the Kelly criteria to bet $5.91. There's what I'm using to calculate that. So I just do a lookup off of my, my table here to pull in the 44.52, which is this value right here, to get the implied 1%. Here's the sports book. So this goes back to what's EV bet implied 1% is greater than the sports book 1%. 44.52 is greater than 43.86. Or another way to look at it is sports books offering longer odds than what the break even odds are. That's the EV bet. So plus 128 versus plus 125. You get paid out more when it's a longer odd. So that's an EV bet. Let's go over to the spread. So spread is going to be. We don't have to do anything. It's going to automatically pull in our spread values, spread line. We're going to get the big percent. We're going to devig it. We're going to get our break even odds for the base pinnacle handicap. But what we want to do is that's great. And we can do some line shopping based off those values. But what's going to happen is you're going to have sports books, which I'm sure you're aware have different spread values. So, Three is a flat line for Chiefs Ravens, but the Packers, we have plus 1.5 and plus two. So we've got two different line values there and we want to be able to shop both those line values. And so how to do that would be up here, Green Bay Packers. And so you can see the base is plus 1.5, but we want to look at that two value. And so we can see our break even on is plus 105. Pinnacle spread was plus 1.5 and spread difference of 0.5. So if we had FanDuel offering plus 110 on that, our break even was 105. That's a positive EV bet. We'd bet 11.97. And how to read that on the, the model here. So we're going to start at our base plus 1.5, minus 1.5. And then we want to go up half a point plus two. And then I'm going to add. I'm going to remove four points from that to, to go to that half point value. And that's going to be plus 105. So I have a whole video where I go over this model, but I just want to highlight it here. 
This is completely free. I have a link in the description. I have a whole nother video looking at it. But we want to go, we're at 1.5, current odds minus 110, and we want to go up to two. You can see that that movement value is worth minus four. So we're moving up spread. So we're actually going to give up points to do that. So we, we could accept minus 114 odds or longer for that to be a fair move. And this all starts with the number of outcomes by different point value. So three points is the most common NFL spread that happens about 15% of the time. And then we'll calculate our half point values based off this raw NFL point data and the same thing on total. So I've got two different models out there, completely free for you to be able to plug in different totals, see what that line movement's worth. But if you want that logic all to be built into a nice Excel model, I've done all that for you. So you can go at a base value here, go down two and a half and up two and a half points for both spread and totals. I mean, this is, you're not going to get a better uh, model that's going to have all that outlined for you. I think this is just really is uh, super handy. And especially if you're not looking to do a subscription for EV betting, you want a one-time purchase. I think this Excel model is your... Your starting point especially if you're new to ev betting hopefully me walking through this shows you how to use it very powerful and then i also have it where you can update your account value too so the wagers will update automatically based on the kelly criterion of your account value so with that i i think we've we've kind of walked through everything um, it's still early on before the nfl season's kicked off but i'm going to pull sportsbook review back over so again, you can just go here. You can copy and paste that pinnacle odds however often you like. Once you get it set up once, it's just a simple copy paste in. You can go line shop for money line, totals, point spread. Make sure you get multiple sports books so you can get the best lines for every matchup. And then just go through and just see what's, uh, what's highlighted in blue because that's going to be the, the longest odds, the best return on your money, and see if any of those are, are positive EV bets. And you place enough of those in the long run, you're going to make money. So I hope I hope everybody's found this helpful. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing. I'll have a link to this model in the description, along with these two free calculators as well. Um, thank you and God bless.